when it comes to mental health, and you don't, you don't have to make a correlation with food or anything or what have you, but I wanted to touch base with you about that just to kind of get your take on, you know, just mental health in itself and your experience. And it would it would be really cool if you if you did marry up the two, if you will. But but go ahead. What, what's your take on that? I mean, definitely like mental health is very overlooked still. Like it, things are getting better, but there's still such a stigma around like needing needing help for for something that can't be seen. It's not like you know if someone breaks their leg, it's it's you can do an X ray, you see it, it's there. Um, right. And they're not. You don't make someone. You don't tell someone to just get over a broken leg or you know, you'll, you'll, you'll feel better. Just what do you, you know, but for some reason, if, you know, someone's struggling with depression, anxiety, it's kind of more, Oh, are they, are they making it up? Like what's really going on? Mm-hmm. Um, so mental health, it's, 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 it's so important to talk about it. Like on things like this thing that other people are going to see and more and start realizing that it is uh, something that everyone deals with. And one of the best ways that I personally find to kind of keep my mental health in check is to have a hobby, have something that I do just for myself. Right. And while I do cook professionally, it's also started off as something that I just did to feel better. Um, and it's something that you can do, like you can look up a new recipe or you can do something that you've done a thousand times and, and is comforting, but it gets your mind off other things, gives you something to focus on. And it's, the hobbies are overrated. They're underrated, rather. They they right. just getting outside, even going for a walk. You just need something, something to do just for yourself. 